Hello, my name is Martyr, and this is Let's Play Pixel Puzzle Undead Z. Undead Z, guys, is a shoot 'em up puzzle game. Now, normally when I say puzzle game, I'm sure you think, uh, you know, funny color keys that we have to collect around a house or wacky shaped tubes we have to turn to get to the right thing. No, I literally mean a friggin' puzzle, guys. And yes, I did say also shoot them up. You'll see what I'm talking about in a bit. Undead Z released June 2014. It was developed by Decaying Logic and published by Kiss Ltd. You can go ahead and get physical Pixel Puzzle Undead Z right now on Steam for $6.99. Now guys, I didn't know what to expect when I got my hands on this game. It's, it's a weird concept. I never really thought to myself, hey, you know what make doing puzzles better? having to kill an onslaught of zombies at the same time but basically that's essentially what you do in this twisted game uh, it's obviously for that uh, niche market guys the entire let's put zombies into anything and everything trend is still alive and kicking and that pun is intended that being said is the game fun yes and do these genres mix together for fun yes it is strange though, and it does take some getting used to, as you'll see here in a bit. So let's check it out. I'm gonna put out a warning though, there is some gory images in this game, so if you're in, not into that type of thing, uh, just, you know, be warned. Uh, there is also, I'm gonna hit end game here. I'm not gonna end the game though. There is kinda like this kind of twisted little mini game right here at the beginning that has nothing to do with anything, but you can play that, and I do enjoy that aspect to it. I actually kinda had fun playing this. Uh, this particular little mini game that has nothing to do with the overall game itself. It's just there for you to enjoy and kind of get a mess around. It does teach you a little bit about the mechanics of how the actual shooting will work when you play the game. This isn't uh, this isn't like what you're gonna be doing when you play the puzzles, though. Don't I don't want you to think that. Uh, you'll actually be kind of shooting down a narrow hallway towards zombies more than anything like this. But I did enjoy this aspect that they put this in here for me to enjoy and play around with. You will see similar elements like this though in the game though. So, like I said, it's a it's a puzzle game, guys. And so there would be different kinds of puzzles here. I've been playing the game for about 40 minutes now. I even actually completed one of the puzzles. And the puzzles, there's 19 puzzles total, all ranging from like 60 pieces to 350 piece range, which I guess is what number five is. Uh, and so you can imagine the kind of varying difficulties and basically let's let's get into it mode There's two modes that you can play with with here and I will talk about the other mode in a bit So basically here we are in our puzzle area basically on the let's talk about what you're looking at right here When I'm in this little green square, I can purchase things for zombie bucks I'm not making that up basically and I can buy bullets grenades a barricade or a landmine Then I can place that on anywhere on this field right here as you can see zombies are not coming in here and trying to break my barricade and get their little grubby hands on me. At the same time, there's also these floating puzzle pieces around here, which we need to place on our puzzle board, as you can imagine, so that way we can get uh, well our goal accomplished, because as you can see on the bottom left, there's a timer. And what that timer is, is that eventually, uh, zombies are going to start coming in here, guys, and start trying to eat me. Uh, and depending on how my resources are looking, I could be in trouble. Now, I'm not going to I'm going to try to do one puzzle. I'm going to try to do a whole puzzle for you guys. I'm not going to make any promises uh, that it will be done, but uh, you're going to want to approach this almost in the exact same fashion that you would actually approach uh, if you were playing a puzzle, guys. You're going to want to um, start hitting the corner pieces kind of right away. Uh, and occasionally, even when the timer isn't up, zombies will just come in here and try to like bust up your crap, uh, and then you'll have to kill them. There's also different kinds of, you can also hit like the telepad and change the color up. If you find the color too distracting, we'll leave it on that pick color. And what I kind of do, what, the game does let you, it not say cheat, uh, but once you get a puzzle in where it thinks the right position is, it does allow you to kind of snap that piece into place. For instance, I can just kind of, right now, just kind of gathering the corner pieces and kind of just playing around with where I think they should go. And they'll sometimes just snap into place and give me some cash. And that's just a good way to um, get some, uh, uh, you know, some easy cash going for yourself. Especially near the beginning of the game because you're going to want that kind of cash to just kind of get yourself going. I also picked a puzzle that I thought would be kind of easier to do at first uh, because it has a lot of things going on in the background. Uh, and that's definitely going to be something you're going to want to, like, pay attention to you can also for cash buy the background self and see the puzzle itself so like I can be like okay well that piece goes there 
this piece goes somewhere around I don't know here the weird baby face thing goes like you know right there and suddenly I have some extra pieces placed in the middle and that is essentially the bare bones of this game basically that is the overall goal and it, to be honest with you it's twisted and weird but it's enjoyable it's not it's not boring to say the least it does really does keep, do a good job of keeping you on your toes I do need to however move some of these other pieces you can just simply right click on pieces you don't want on the board anymore like these pieces here like oh these pieces are in the wrong spot but I'm trying to keep some of them around I probably should just continue focusing on my strategy of getting uh, corner pieces in place first off and foremost there's another one right here uh, and yeah, like I said believe it or not you're gonna want to approach this this game in typical you know um, puzzle board fashion you're gonna want to start with the corners and then make your way inside or if you're pretty confident you can go ahead and just uh, start pl is that the wrong place really that's I thought for sure okay that's where that goes um, you you can you know go ahead and if you're confident enough you're like oh well I know where these pieces go uh, and then just start placing wherever you want also on the bottom right down here is the uh, equivalent of how much inventory you have any bullets things like that and the pieces just kind of float around the aether like this you kind of just have to find them kind of sort through them they're constantly mixing around I thought for sure this piece would go oh, there we go uh, so you kind of just need to find them place them wherever you like and also of course look at the edges of each piece um, and see you kind of guess where they go like right there I picked this particular image because it has quite a bit going on in it and I thought it would be easy to do in the allotted time especially for one video right here uh, let's see we almost got all of our top pieces just in place here all of our corner pieces um, let's see here that piece is in the wrong spot ah there we go okay all right we got a zombie coming there right, kill him you can also place barricades here like I could buy a barricade like from this piece right here and it'll give me more extra defensible spots to um, uh, add to my position as it were I'm missing one final bottom piece I think that's it right there all right and now we're gonna just want to start placing uh, these pieces these green things here and trying to get an idea of where this thing all goes together we do have you can kind of look at the images and see where an eyeball is let's see if we can find one of these eyeballs in these image I don't see any is there an eyeball in any of these pieces let's see here we can just cheat if need be oh there's an eyeball there uh oh but it looks like we're in trouble I sense trouble you can also kind of just grab pieces and kind of float them around until you can get them to where you want them to go uh, the controls as far as this goes as the, the, the shooting aspect goes are very smooth they're very easy to manipulate it's not like they want it to be too complicated the overall goal of the game is to of course uh, construct a freaking you know puzzle okay let's that's it uh, so that piece is not is it the right place that piece is so let's float this piece around until we can figure out where this piece goes perfect all right uh, does this piece go anywhere we kind of just float it around here there we go um, yep there we go got more cash which is great because we're gonna have some zombie trouble here in a bit perfect okay, we got another zombie though and as you can imagine if they do get their hands on me I, it will be game over uh, and you'll have to start again we're doing pretty good here though I have to admit I thought I'd be doing pretty terrible all in all but I think I may have chosen correctly this piece died. I'm not gonna be able to figure that piece out yet let's see here um let's see kind of just finagle this look around figure out where this goes up oh, timers up so I'm gonna want to buy some bullets and get ready to kill some zombies because there's gonna be kind of like a wave at this point once the timer goes up a wave starts coming in they can kind of change your tactics up they start kind of moving around up and down trying to avoid your bullets also become a little bit more hearty to kill um, and they, they just become more difficult to kill and they can just start kind of rushing your uh, your little barricade there as you can imagine uh, we also got grenades which I can throw like that 
I'm also having a little bit of frame rate issues right here. I think that's just because of my recording more than anything else. Uh, I need more bullets. Um, let's just buy a buttload of bullets. So that way we can kill some of these guys. We can probably buy another barricade just to make ourselves a little bit safer. But I don't think we're going to need to. Uh, and as you get deeper and deeper into harder puzzles, the waves I can imagine will only get more and more difficult. I'm not sure if there's different kinds of zombies. I think it's all really kind of the same thing. Um, but, you know, that I don't think there's like, you know, going to be like, oh, there's brute zombies or anything like that. I think it's more just, you know, uh, focusing on getting the zombie puzzle puzzles solved here. There we go. We got his weird little head there. Uh, and we got another green piece here. There we go. Is that zombie giving birth? Is that what that is? That's disgusting. Ugh. Okay, we are missing a top piece, though, and I don't know where that is. It's kind of floating around here somewhere, and I don't really see it. Um, uh, go anywhere? Do you go anywhere? Do you by chance go here? Oh, you do? Look at that. I got lucky there. Um, we do need to put more of this, uh, zombie back to get, oh, there we go, I see that, where the piece goes, right? Somewhere around there, there we go, perfect. Um, uh, there's its arm. Its arm should go somewhere, like, around here, I'd imagine. Maybe? Maybe it's its other arm? Alright, we'll come back to that piece. Uh, I just got lucky on that one, I was just like, blink! It's just like, yeah, we got you. You're good. Okay, let's uh, let's take out this piece. Oh, so that's like a cartilage thing. What does this piece go? This piece. Oh, this piece. Okay, this is easy to get out of the way. Ugh, there we go. Okay, and then we'll come on. This goes somewhere around here. I know it does. I can sense it. Ah, oh, come on. Are you kidding me? You go somewhere around here. I know you do. Maybe you don't. Okay. Oh, gosh dang it. Zombie, back the hell off. Now, I'm going to put up another barricade really quick. Just put one, like, right about mid-range there. That way they can stop bugging me so much and I have some time to think. And that's one thing I will say. Is the game does get a little hectic. Um, it can get very overwhelming to deal with all the zombies at once. Um, but that's not a bad thing. I think if you're looking to play this game, that's kind of what you're looking for. You're kind of looking for that tension, as it were. Um, this looks like a chest cavity of some sort. So does that, like, go there? Yes, it does. All right, fantastic. Okay, we got another zombie. Gosh, stupid zombies. Ah. Um, uh, that goes there. Cool. We're doing really good here so far. We just got a lot of pieces that just don't really... I don't know where they go. Oh, there we go. Okay. Alright. Maybe that's a leg. Hmm. Okay, I just have to start matching it up at this point. Let's just get rid of those pieces that we have floating around here. And start trying to match the pieces that we do have. Um, this looks like some sort of piece. I don't know where this goes. Where does this go? Does it go there? No. Does it go there? No. Does it go there? No. Does it doesn't go there? Does it go there? Okay, it feels like it should go around here. Does it go there? No, 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 nope. Okay, fine. Screw you, you stupid piece. Um, how about this piece? This looks like an arm. That looks like it should be attached to that arm there. You know, I think we're going to have to cheat after we kill this damn zombie. Well, it's not cheat. I mean, it's there. It's there to help you. It's not necessarily, you know, like I'm cheating here. Uh, I lost the piece I had. Uh, where does this go? I don't see it. Oh, there it is. Aha! All right, this goes where? Where does this go? There. All right. We got those pieces. Good. 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 So we got some help there to figure out where some of these pieces go. Uh, and at this point, we're just kind of just trying to fill in the blanks. And I'm probably not doing a very good job of it, to be brutally honest with you guys. Uh, there. Nope. Nope. Yep. There we go. Nope. Totally not to go there. Okay. Uh, let's just concentrate here a bit. And we could probably... Yeah, I'll just come back to that piece. Um, 
Where does this piece go? Oh, there we go. Perfect. Okay. So as you can see, I mean, I've been playing the game for about 40 minutes. It is a challenging game, to say the least. But it's not so challenging to where, like, you won't be able to figure out what to do. It, like I said, it just takes some getting used to the entire mechanics of, oh, well, I gotta shoot these guys now. God dang it, I'm out of bullets. Um, and I also have to be putting a puzzle together at the exact same time. It's just, that's the mechanics. It kind of just is weird at first. It's just, you're like, well, I wasn't really expecting this type of gameplay, but all right. I'm down for this. Uh, this piece doesn't go where I want it to. Um, this looks like drippy blood. This looks like uh, there. This looks like it goes there. That's our final corner piece. That goes there. It looks like we're going to make it. Hold on. Um, I don't know where this piece goes. Are you kidding me? Okay. Uh, this piece goes... Uh, give me here! Clickety! Okay. I kill the zombie. Okay, I got like a minute, 17 seconds to solve this puzzle. Pretty sure we got this. Where's the last piece? I don't see it. Oh, it's somewhere on my board. Where is it? Oh, God! I lost the piece! Where is it? It's on the screen somewhere! Um, piece? Where are you? I don't see the last pieces. This is this is hilarious. This is literally like losing the last piece of a puzzle. I don't see that piece, game. Where is it? Whoops, I just moved the entire game. Oh god. Okay. Hold on a second, guys. There we go. <laughs> Martyr's a doof. Um I don't know where that last piece is. Oh there it is! Ah! There! I got you! There we go! I apologize for that, guys. I was clicking around like mad and I accidentally moved the entire uh, screen there. Matter of fact, I'm going to just adjust it just a little bit tiny more. Uh, there we go. Okay. But we got that now, and we can just go underground. Uh, I apologize for that. It was my fault. That was kind of stupid of me to move the camera around. But basically, yeah, you can see how we kind of solved the puzzle there. It took us a little while, but it took me about 17 minutes to solve that one puzzle, guys. There's 19 puzzles total. Um, you can also kind of flip through the extras if you just want to see the images themselves. They're all there for you to enjoy and view. Uh, the game does also feature uh, Steam cards, but not Steam achievements. Uh, which, if you're into those kinds of things, I know some people are. In all, guys, the game's pretty fun. But like I said at the beginning, guys, this game isn't for everybody. It does really fit a certain niche market. But I think people who are looking for that niche will be extremely satisfied with this game. It's well made, the controls are smooth, and it's kind of twisted and fun to put a puzzle together and then suddenly lob a grenade at a few dozen zombies. I wouldn't have never thought of it, so kudos to the developer for that. It's weird, it's different, and if you're looking for something that's weird and different and you liked what you saw, get this game. It definitely has enough replay value in it, as some of these puzzles can be very long and intensive. If I had a request, it would be a save and exit feature, as you currently have to kind of reload every time you walk away, and on a 350 piece puzzle that can get a little bothersome. Also kind of a glowing overlay over certain pieces so that way you don't get them lost like I did would be nice. That's my two cents though. Big thanks to the developer and publisher for this great game. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe and I'll keep bringing you awesome games guys. Till next time, play more indie games.